Hello everyone, this is Dan Fitzpatrick, the AI Educator, coming to you from Surrey, just outside of London today, and we're going to be looking at AI and video generation. This is causing a big stir in the media this week because of one very special announcement which we're going to come on to in just a few moments. Just cast your mind back to the summer of 2023. Hollywood was on strike. Why? Because of pay but also a large part of it was down to artificial intelligence. Because if you know how to use a tool like ChatGPT, you can already get it to generate a decent script. Decent script for a movie, for a TV show. So Hollywood feels under threat. And couple that with the fact that production companies in Hollywood have already been using artificial intelligence to create the extras and the back of scenes, to create the scenes themselves, and even to help manipulate the main characters. It doesn't take a genius to realise with the ease of this technology progressing and the quality of it progressing, bringing it all together could massively, massively disrupt Hollywood. It could disrupt how we create content. Let me just take you back here and show you what AI video generation was like. Not so pretty. We've got Will Smith eating some pasta there. Then we're going to see... Oh, two Will Smiths. We've got, we've got a, the rock here eating rocks. It wasn't fantastic. Fast forward to today, and you will have heard of, I'm sure, that OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, are about to release a tool called Sora. It hasn't been released yet, but we have been shown its capabilities. And I want to show you some of my favourite videos generated by Sora so far, and I'll also share the prompt with you. This is a prompt. The prompt is, beautiful, snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the bustling city street, following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Gorgeous Sakura petals are flying through the wind along with snowflakes. And this is what Sora has produced just from a text prompt. Absolutely phenomenal. We get those two people walking through by the markets as described. It's snowing. We've got, uh, we've got the petals falling. Absolutely beautiful that this has been created just with a text prompt. Let me take you to my next favorite video that has been created by Sora. For this one, the prompt is an instructional cooking session for homemade gnocchi hosted by a grandmother social media influencer set in a rustic Tuscan country kitchen with cinematic lighting. I love Tuscany. So let's have a look at what this one looks like. And you can see there the quality, the absolute quality there. Now, the mixing of the, the flour and potato, I guess it is, if it's gnocchi, isn't amazing, but... How far have we come? Let me take you to my next favourite one, which is this prompt. Point of view footage of an ant navigating inside of an ant nest. What an amazing bit of footage this is. Now, granted, I noticed um, somebody on Twitter said it doesn't exactly have six legs like an ant should, but absolutely amazing quality there. Phenomenal. This one I love. The prompt for it is the camera lowers and widens to a grand panoramic view, overlooking the beautiful ocean and the historical buildings along a stunning coastal picturesque town perched on the cliffs. So let's have a look at this one. And you can see the camera panning back there for a panoramic of that coastal town. Again, looks like we're in Italy there. Absolutely beautiful. That This was created just with a text prompt. We've advanced so much in just the last few days with these tools. Advanced so much. I can't wait for this to be public and start to use it. Uh, let me take you to another one. A photorealistic close-up video of two pirate ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup of coffee. Now, I think this one really shows how the the impossible can be brought to life the impossible can be brought to life in a video just with a text prompt and you can see the ships there on the waves inside the coffee cup now what does this mean what does this mean for us well normally when i'm talking to schools universities colleges businesses around the world I sometimes say this is what it will likely mean. In the next few years, this could be the type of scenario we see. So I get back from work, I'm tired, I put Netflix on, and I simply say, hey, Netflix, tonight I fancy watching a movie, a horror movie, a horror movie about zombies, a horror movie about zombies that stars Boris Johnson, a horror movie about zombies that stars Boris Johnson and also stars myself in there have it set in newcastle upon tyne the greatest city in the world everybody knows that 
And then in real time, it will create that movie for me to watch in high definition. The elements of this technology are here. They're here, and with tools like Sora, it is making it more and more of a reality every single day. Remember, I still firmly believe that we are in the, the opening acts of this new AI era. Where will we be in the next few years? I don't even think we can predict it. But we know that tools like this are shifting the needle. Tools like this are creating a brand new world in which we will live, learn, and play. Education will have to adapt to this new world in which we live, in which we learn, and in which we play. By the way, I asked Midjourney to imagine what a movie poster for that movie would look like, and this is it. Nothing scary about that whatsoever. Until next time, I've been Dan Fitzpatrick, the AI educator, and I cannot wait for OpenAI to release Sora. Take care.